What if Europa orbited Venus? So following on from our Europa Earth experiment, Europa was too cold. So what if we crank it up to the orbit of Venus? Let's go ahead and find out. So let's plop Europa in, uh, put it in the orbit around Venus there. There it is, Europa is now placed. So will the orbit of the hottest planet in the solar system be enough to melt the ice on Europa? Let's go ahead and find out. Let's go ahead and speed up time and watch to see if it is enough. So there we go, and immediately we are getting more results than Earth. There we go, it's minus 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. There we go, it's in the positives. So, we can already see immediately. If we just change our view here, you can see it's melting. There it is. It's in the orbit of Venus. But, the question is, how hot will it get? Let's find out. Let's go ahead and let's speed up time again. Let's more slow it. There we are. Okay, going around the sun here, so there we go. It's sticking at 7 degrees, 7.5. It's going to go any hotter. It looks like Europa wants to sit around the 8 degree temperature mark. 7, 8 degrees. It's not really going much hotter than that around Venus. So Venus now has a new uh, sister object, a new moon. That is completely different in pretty much every way. Looking on the actual equator of Europa as well, we can also see the highest temperatures are going to about 22 degrees Celsius. Hundreds of years later of simulated time, we can now see that Europa has fully melted on the equator and the ice only remains in the north and south pole regions.